Hey, you. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, guys, uh, as a reminder, you can watch the same video on BitTube. The link will be in the description and you can be compensated for it. You can be paid cryptocurrency. Uh, so, or you can watch it here um, and sit back and enjoy with us and uh, get the same information. So, uh, guys, we want to visit Tron today. And um, on my ever quest now to try to find out which altcoins will survive the altcoin apocalypse <laughs> uh, that many of us believe has been long overdue, but now it's on our doorsteps. Um, I'm going to probably do this video series where we're going to go in search of altcoins that we think are going to survive. And so Tron's come up. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about Tron. A lot of people been saying, what about Tron? Tron's this, Tron that, and uh, Tron's going to be the one. And so we're going to talk a little bit about Tron today and see what we can See what we can find out about Tron. So let's let's start from the beginning. So what? So Tron is this this ambitious pro project that's uh, being um, a captain here or run by a Jason, Mister Jason Soon, not Sun, as many of us have erroneously pronounced his name, but it's actually pronounced Jason Soon uh, in Chinese uh, Sun S U N uh, has a long O sound, so many of us are pronouncing the name wrong. Uh, a very uh, accomplished young man. Um, he, uh, I believe, graduated the University of Pennsylvania. He's attended elite schools uh, in Peking, China, and uh, so he's a very intelligent, ambitious young gentleman. And he looks like he's a very hard worker. And uh, I can tell you from what I've learned about him so far, uh, I believe he's very capable. Um, and so that's already a good uh, checkbox in his favor. Um, he's also said to be the protege of Mr. Jack Ma, a billionaire businessman out of uh, China, uh, which you may also whom you may also be familiar with. Who's, uh, who launched Alibaba. Uh, if a pair of uh, Snickers in a box, uh, sneakers in a box ever showed up at your door, <laughs> you know, it was probably came over from Alibaba or AliExpress, uh, and, and that was his business or company anyway. Him and, and, and Jason Soon, or Jason Sun, however you want to say his name, is, uh, 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 you know, have this relationship, and there's also been rumors that there may be some involvement with Alibaba and Tron. Also, Mr. Um, uh, Jack Ma, who kind of started off negative about Bitcoin, like uh, many other people have done an about face and, and, and more so a part of it. Early scandals with Tron uh, dealt a lot with um, uh, some, some people thought the white paper was plagiarized uh portions like from foul coin and various things and a lot of people were concerned about that uh uh you know uh, i kind of for some reason i thought when i heard about that i kind of thought about uh it was an article i had read about in china how they had cloned this they had cloned this rolls royce car and and all these different countries and nations were upset about uh, a lot of cloning that had went on in china with different products across the, <laughs> the globe and uh so uh, i don't you know so uh, however you know whatever the story was with with the cloning of the the white paper um you know i from what i've seen and, and, and from what you know from from what i've researched and come up with uh i don't think even if that was the case uh that might be enough to stop the ambition behind the tron project so we're going to get into it i'm going to get my thoughts about it and uh you know we're going to see if if this is going to survive the altcoin holocaust uh, apocalypse so uh one thing articles like this tron's latest news development amidst market price discovery came out september 18th 
uh, today. So this is something that's become unavoidable with, with Tron. Every time you look around, there somebody's passing around information about them. They're in the news. They've sent some celebrity money. Uh, it you know, and these things are very important in the cryptocurrency space. You know, too long uh, I think have we listened that uh, I've I've heard two two camps. I've heard the developer who. He's just focused on technology. Oh, just build the tech and the tech's going to be better and all, but everybody's going to flock to the tech and use the tech, right? And then I've just heard these people talk about, oh, you know, it's going to be, uh, we need organic growth. Just let it be slow organic growth and don't worry about it. Let this happen and this, that, and the other. But we have had cases and situation where people have, waiting on organic growth they they took their time on projects they've taken their time getting things out and by the time they get it out they've become obsolete other people have done it better competition's better we forgot about the projects so there's a lot of negatives in that as well but what what is impressing me about tron is not only do they seem to kind of have a handle on things tech wise as far as uh being ethereum's leading competitor right and, you know we know that uh lately with ethereum uh vitalik has been a kind of, a kind of debbie downer <laughs> and uh you know whilst he's been this way people like jason sun are you know they're still plowing full st uh, steam ahead and um you know they've copied seemingly ethereum in many ways they came out with the uh crypto dogs and and various things like that. But as we see in the latest news, Tron has been added to Bittrex. And that was always interesting because I like Bittrex. I do a lot of my trading and I do a lot of my business on Bittrex. And I remember when they first started talking about Tron, I was like, well, what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Tron uh, and, and just see how things goes because what I ger generally do is look at market capitalization and I saw all those tokens um, some, some time back and I was like, oh, forget it. I don't think I'm interested in this. And, um, you know, um, and uh, so uh, I, I, you know, revisited Tron after that uh, not long ago because I was still hearing a lot of, you know, a lot of the fuss about it and I wanted to check it out a little bit and just see how, you know, test the waters a bit. And um, I, I was on Big Trek, so I said, well, let me find it. It wasn't trading on Big Trek. So uh, I just kind of said, forget it. You know, I didn't really go looking for it. But uh, that look today, it was on there, right? So Tron's now uh, on Big Trek, and, 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 and it's trading up in value. And I think, you know, we're going to see, uh, you know, it, the price do a lot better because it's on Big Trek now, right? But, you know, this article, the, the PR is excellent. The team is very ambitious. Uh, you know, they don't seem to be waiting around. They seem uh, waiting around. They seem to be plan for. They seem to be out the Ethereum. They want to replace Ethereum. Uh, they seem to have all the makings and components to do it. Um, and, um, you know, after looking at Tron, uh, being uh, kind of put off by how many tokens they have. And uh, I'm going to have to say, guys, I think that Tron will survive the altcoin apocalypse. Uh, I think they have all of the uh, uh, drive and ambition and, 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 and uh, PR and marketing, they, they get both elements of what's needed. And that's very important. I, I, it's just too many coins who, you know, what we, what we have a great deal of in the cryptocurrency space are redundancy coins, right? We just got coins doing the same thing over and over again. So if I'm, if, if I have comparable tokens, I have one token that's uh, focus on technology. I have another coin that's focused on technology and they're in this race together, right? And let's see, they're, they're kind of evenly paired. And I'm like, okay, so which one's going to probably win in that case, right? It's going to be the one that appeals the most to me through marketing and through uh, uh, reaching out and, 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 and partnerships and various things like that. And, and, and Tron seems to get that. And I think they get it a great deal more 
than uh, most of the coins in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, and so I, I have to I have to say Tron will survive. And I and, and you know this isn't financial advice, but I do think at this point in time, it's gonna be in my best interest to hold some Tron. So uh, I would say the first mission to find altcoins to survive the Holocaust, uh, the apocalypse, uh, was a successful run in the first go. I I, I, I give a thumbs up to to Tron, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how they do. And so it's good to to start to find more tokens, more coins. Uh, we're gonna cover some more um, as we go along, uh, and um, you know hopefully we'll find some more. Uh, but we will try to be do our research and and, and try to consider all component all elements of, of what's going to be necessary i think to to survive the altcoin apocalypse so guys that's that's all i want to say if you like content like this don't forget to like subscribe and until next time guys take care